Oh, look, guys, I totally forgot about this spot. We have a whole bunch of animatronics set up over here. <gasps> Holy crap, look at this. They have a Betty Sharp. All right, guys, today we are in Lima, Ohio, in Lima Mall, and we're gonna go into this, which used to be a Sears and is now apparently a Spirit Halloween, but I think you have to go in from outside. Yeah, apparently right over here is the entrance because there is the Spirit Halloween sign and there is a little door right there. As long as there's no lima beans in here, we'll be fine. Lima beans are sick. Okay, let's see how this goes. Very strange of an entrance. I don't know why it wouldn't be open from the mall, but it is a Spirit's Halloween. All right, guys, this store is absolutely awesome. So like I said, it used to be a Sears. It's huge in here. We have an awesome monster laboratory set up here, and I can see all the way through, there's tons of animatronics for sale on the floor. We're gonna go check them out in just a minute, but let's start with the possessed pumpkin. Or two for my haunted house. Yours looks just about right. <laughs> okay, let's do this a couple times because I don't think I've ever really just stood here and listened to all his sayings. I love how it just gets increasingly crazy. One more. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. Now it's my turn to make a jack-o'-lantern from your head. Okay, so this is what I find hilarious about Possessed Pumpkin. The little thing that sees you, that makes him go, is right there on his nose. And like, I look at that and I'm like, is that a mole in his nose? Speaking of noses, look at this guy with these nostrils. That's like all I can see every time I look at him now. The nostrils, uh-oh. Is he gonna work? Here we go. Maybe, maybe not. He's glitching out, it's like the Matrix. Okay, he's turned down very, very low, so we can't hear him very much. Let's go ahead through here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go over and visit Monty before we forget, because a lot of stores I go in and I almost forget Monty. Hello, Monty. All right, here we go. When the heck, they're all like glitching out today. We must be in the Matrix or the Upside Down. There he goes. Okay. Very strange that they're all glitching out today. Okay, wait a minute. Let's go back over here because I hear Shorty going nuts over here. Man, he is super loud today. All right, Shorty, let's move on. We got the chains of death. Look at this. It's funny because, like, it's set up a little bit different everywhere. Usually these chains of death are pretty tight going all the way up there, but these are loose. Maybe it's so that they can wrap you up and kill you. All right, let's check out Grim here. Ah, you look like death warmed over, my friend. So do you. All right, let's do the bog zombie. I know we've seen these guys like a hundred thousand times already, but I can't come into the stores without checking them out and saying hi to each and every one. Hello, Bog Zombie. All right, let's go see how Barry's doing. Hello, Barry. Here we go. Yes, he's working better than any of them so far. Look how good he's swinging right there. That is too funny. You gotta love Barry. All the bubbles of death are working how they should. All right, let's give it the ultimate test. Mm-hmm. It's bubbling my face! All right, let's move on through here, guys, because I want to look at these animatronics. Look at this. Right off the bat, we have three Bubba's man's possessed friends right here. And look at this stack of awesome animatronics right here. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Give me a fist bump. This guy knows what I'm talking about. 
All right, let's check them out. Look at this, right on top of the pile, we have a bag of bones. Then we have a lucky bottoms. We have a shorty on the bottom. We have two nozzles. We got a Grim down here. We got a Reagan, a Lord Farquad, a Mr. Dark, a Bog Zombie, a Lil Skelly Bones. Oh, look at this, guys. We have the Straw Man. We have another Lord Raven. There's another Lil Skelly Bones over here. We got one, two, three Monties. One, two Nightcrawlers. Two more Bog Zombies. And if we dive into the middle, there's even more. It looks like that's probably another Mr. Dark there. A Lucky Bottoms. Exorcist and another Lord Farquaad all the way under there. And of course we have a whole stack of jumping spiders. Okay, in the kids section over here we have just the typical ghost face stuff. I did already look in the adults section and they also are still waiting for their scream stuff. But of course there's these guys who we love. The Creeper and the secret keeper. Okay, usually around this corner here. Yes, here's our babies waiting to be adopted. And we do have two burrito babies. Look at that. We have a little handful of the dolls here. We have Decrepit Donna and Eerie Emma. Is that it? Yep, that's all they have for the dolls. I think I see a Billy Butcherson's head. It's funny because usually they have these over with the Hocus Pocus stuff. But in here he has to share a space with Mr. Nasty Breath. Oh, look at this, guys. Okay, not only do we have the empty Soul Girl on a swing as usual, they also have this new one here, the Swinging Witch. I think I've only seen this in two stores so far. She's only 80 bucks and you could use your 20% off and that would be a deal. I'm always on the lookout for masks that I haven't seen in here. I don't see any that stick out to me this time. Wait, here's one called Reaper of the Night. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've seen a bunch of these staffs in here, but I don't think I've ever seen this one. The Eye of Sauron. Maybe he read the map wrong with his one eye. Oh look guys, I totally forgot about this spot. We have a whole bunch of animatronics set up over here. <gasps> Holy crap. Look at this. They have a Betty Sharp. Aside from the flagship store, I think this is the only store I've seen Betty Sharp set up in. All right, let's get her going here. There we go. Used to be mommy's favorite, but I took care of you. So mommy's favorite is now chopped up into pieces and in, in that bag. I still think she would have been so much better if like her mouth moved or at very least the arm with the knife moved up and down. But she still is awesome. I love how that bag just moves around. All right, let's get nozzles going here. Come on, Nazi. Ooh, his eyes aren't lighting up. And he's not hooked up to the uh, the fog. All right, let's leave Nazi some stickers here. All right, let's check out the Skelly Bones here. Come on, Skelly. You gotta love Skelly. I love him so much that we're gonna leave him stickers. There you go. And let's check out Lucky Bottoms. Come on, Lucky. Always laughing up a storm. Look at this. This setup over here looks really good, guys. We got both monitors going as they should be. Both tubes of blue death over there. And then just to top everything off, we have Betty Sharp right in the middle. All right, let's not forget about Reagan. Where is this maybe? Yeah, here we go. I can't tell if she's working. Okay, yeah, she's working. Music's pretty loud over here, but spin that head, girl. There we go. <laughs> and there's the projection on the back there. Pretty creepy. I know that everybody loves her so much, but honestly, I wish she did a little bit more. Just like Betty Sharp over here, like when you step on the thing, an activator, if you're just looking at her, you can hear her talking, but you don't know what's going on until you look down and see the bag moving. But what I wish happened with Reagan was that at least like her eyes would light up a little bit or her hands would move or something. Something to let you know that she's actually working when you can't hear her very well. Because when you activate her, you have to wait for like a full minute before her head spins. All right, let's go through the tunnel of electric death. Everything is quiet. Well, it's not quiet, but everything is normal in here. Okay. What the heck? The floor is not working. 
and neither. Okay, here they go. They took a minute to kick on, but they're working. Both of these are working perfectly though. Crouchy and the Nightcrawler. We got the typical side steppers that we're seeing in the stores. Sam and the Frankenstein and Billy Butcherson. We got the Gremlins and the Ghost Face Bobbleheads. Except for these up here, we have a couple of Freddies. I'm still watching this section here, guys, because we have a couple of Powerpuff Girls, but we still don't have Mojo Jojo. But we do have this little guy. We got two sitting Sam dolls. We got the good guys Chucky dolls and what is this guy? Wait a minute, what in the world? Look at this, it's an inflatable wavy arms alien. I've seen this one before with the alien encounter, but I've never seen the inflatable skeleton pick me up. Oh my gosh, or the inflatable ghoul pick me up. Look at his head. Oh, and we almost missed this over here, guys. The sitting scarecrows. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. We got a little guy heading for the bog zombie. Step on it again. There we go. Now you got him going. What do you think of that guy? He's a pretty cool one, huh? Wait, what in the world? Look at this guy's Super Grover. I've never seen that one before. And then they have Big Bird here. They have Gizmo. And these are all like a one-piece suit. Like, you don't even have to put on a whole costume. It's just a one-piece suit. You put on a zip up, put the hood up. Yeah, look, this is the same thing. Cows, monkeys, Dalmatian, even tigers and lions. Well, here's a Beetlejuice shirt I don't think I've seen before. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie or not, but this reminds me of the old movie Something Wicked This Way Comes. Zinga, zinga, zinga! You're not only wrong, you're stupid. I prefer the term canine American. All right, let's see what kind of pops they have here. Yes, we have Danny with Banks. We have the Sanderson Sisters three pack. I do not see Billy Butcherson, but we do have Chuckles the Clown. And let's see if we have any of the mystery bags, the blind bags here in Lima. I am not seeing any yet. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wow, they do have the new ones. All right, look, we have the Chills and Thrills. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas. And we have the brand new ones that are like the, uh, the animatronics. You guys probably watched my video where I opened an entire case of these. Totally awesome, I got them all. All right, look at this, guys. This is only the second store where I have seen the straw man set up. Unfortunately, they can't find the right plug to get him going right now. But if you come in to the lima bean capital of the world in Ohio, <laughs> <laughs> you will get to see the straw man set up. In fact, we're gonna leave him a whole bunch of stickers here.